Okay, just bism bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, gentlemen, welcome to uh, this uh, lecture about the uh, beef, exotic beef breeds. Uh, this is the third lecture of the beef breeds. We have earlier covered the indigenous uh, cattle breeds of Pakistan, and then we have discussed some of the sheep and goats, uh, which could also be a source of meat in Pakistan. And now we are discussing some of the exotic breeds. Uh, there are there are around 250 exotic breeds available, uh, cattle breeds um, available for beef production. Um, but uh, due to limited time of this semester, we are not going to uh, discuss all those 250 breeds uh, for 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 our beef lectures. But uh, we I I have choose some of the important breeds which are mainly mainly one of the mainly their genetics are used in, a, uh, in uh, developing those breeds. Uh, initially, initially there were very few breeds uh, which were uh, which were used for beef production, but uh, with the passage of time, the genetists worked and worked hard and um, tried to segregate the animals on the basis of their, their genetics for muscular characteristics and meat, uh, lean meat production. And uh, slowly and gradually, they started developing their breeds. Um, you know, there are two types of uh, animals. One is called as uh, uh, zebu cattle, uh, which is uh, called as a boys indicus, and the other is called as boys tyrus, uh, which is the European cattle. The zebu cattle mostly have a humped and have this ability to tolerate uh, heat uh, um, uh, and parasites load and disease resistance. Um, better than better than uh, the other uh, temperate or uh, European cattle. So um, these animals were having uh, this stress factors resistance higher, uh, uh, and the some of the some of the European animals were having the uh, growth potentials higher. So uh, the different scientists in developed countries like in America, they they used to combine these two breeds uh, to develop a the different uh, different other breeds uh, for their own needs okay so uh, what are the important beef breeds uh, one of the most important beef breed is uh, the aberdeen angus aberdeen angus is a united kingdom breed So this breed is a uh, black in color found in the uh, Aber Aberdeen area of the Scotland in United Kingdom, the United Kingdom, and maybe found in black, maybe also found in a uh, old red color. Just a minute, hold on for a second and uh, Okay, uh, sorry for interruption. Uh, this is Aberdeen Angus. A solid black color or sometimes in red colors. Old are, um, these animals have no horns. Uh, Angus is considered as a good maternal ability, have the highest carcass uh, quality characteristics. Uh, dressing percentage is uh, around uh, uh, 68 to 72%. Sometimes 75% uh, is also recorded. Uh, the Aberdeen Angus is also called as uh, their ability for foraging under the rough conditions uh, where the snowfall is more so that it's, uh, this animal can uh, uh, push the snow with their with their feet and hoofs uh, and then um, take the take, uh, and take the grasses from inside the snow or underneath the snow. Uh, the cattle weight is uh, around uh, six, uh, 598 kg at uh, the time of slaughtering, which is almost 430 days. 
but the average weight gain of this animal is 191 kg 97 970 grams per day which is extraordinary and a lean meat producer I consider this animal is very docile and very good there is another breed of the uk this breed is also found in the uk area and uh, this breed is a uh, reddish uh, or brownish uh, color color with some white patches and this uh, the face of this uh, Harry Ford uh, is white in color with this uh, lining the, the jaws lining and the dew lip and the brisket area and the belly flank area they are also white white uh, or white patches on that in that areas and the white face is dominant characteristics in its of uh, hairy fold animals uh, sometimes they are bold and sometimes they are horned genetically so this animal uh, is not an excellent producer but however hairy fold uh, Harry Ford was uh, segregated for beef production as well as for milk production as well and a good growth potential this animal have and wool are usually very docile and easy to handle and normally weight again is a 0 0.85 850 grams per k per day weight gain is recorded in a study and a 530 kg a slaughter weight was recorded in uh, for 520 days um, so this is another uh, European breed uh, uh, origin is uh, UK. Uh, it's called as a short horn. Short horn was also a dual purpose <laughs> breed uh, and it was segregated for beef production as well as for milk production as well. Now short horn is available for beef production as well as for milk production. So you can find this breed in red, white, wrong and any combination of red and white colors. Um, this animal is also pole and horn both available, acquired a reputation for the hardiness, mothering ability and good temperament. Mm -hmm. So the majority, major development of this breed was for beef production, although it was considered as previously for dual purpose. <clears throat> then this is another breed called as cemental is a very important breed uh, in terms of beef production. Uh, origin, origin of this breed is a Switzerland. Uh, this is in the Middle Ages of the Switzerland. It's for produce. Uh, short horn face fight. Tha. And uh, this animal has a white strap on the uh, behind the shoulder or behind the wither area as well as at the rump and uh, Pelvic area, this there's a white white patches are uh, the whole circular line on the on the back side as well. And the color is sorry, the color is wrong, red and white color is available, dark tan, uh, dark red color is also available, and the weather may be changed with slightly with the weather conditions. Uh, in, in winter it becomes lighter and in, in summer it becomes darker. Mm -hmm. So uh, This animal is a highly muscular and their, their, their growth rate and higher milk production, famous for its growth rate and for better milk production and a cow meaning heavy calves uh, due to their high milk production and the breed is a high growth rate potential. Uh, weight gain is 1.449 kg per day and starter weight was 621 kg at 455 days. Then there's another breed called as Maine and Jew. Maine and Jew was one of the French oldest breed. It was uh, considered as it, the breed before 1850, 50th, and um, large breed horns. Uh, they are horn breed and a dark and dark red color, but usually with white uh, underlining and uh, white patches maybe on the belly. Uh, is considered is a. Like, Batches on the body. The appeal of this uh, this breed cattle producer is high growth rate and milking ability and good deposition, good deposition, lean carcass quality, and high cutability are also put them in demand. Bulls are usually docile and easy to handle. This is one of the good animals of France for bee production purposes.
दिस इज अनदर ब्रीड लेमोजीन वो जो आपके यहाँ शादी की लंबी गाड़ी आपने फिल्म में देखी होगी या कुछ गाड़ियाँ पिशावर में भी आई हुई हैं लंबी गाड़ियाँ जो शादी की दुल्हन को लेके जाने के लिए इस्तेमाल की जाती हैं यूरोप में भी ये इस्तेमाल होती हैं उन्होंने ये नाम इस इस एनिमल से लिया है इस एनिमल इज लेमोजीन फ्रांस का ओरिजिनेटेड एनिमल है लंबा एनिमल है गोल्डन वीट कलर का इसकी फीमेल्स हैं और डार्क रेड गोल्ड कलर के इसके मेल्स हैं डार्क एंड समवट मेचोरिटी एंड एजेस सेलेक्टेड फॉर इट्स बीफ क्वालिटी करेक्टरिस्टिक इसको आप कहते हैं कारकस ब्रीड भी कहते हैं कि इससे ज़्यादा अच्छा कारकस मिलता है कारकस की क्वालिटी हाई क्वालिटी का कारकस इससे ओपटेन होता है कम्पिटिटिवली दे आर लार्ज रिब आई एंड हाई जील्डिंग इसकी है और लीन कारकस इसका इसका है तो वेट गेन इज वन वन के वन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स के जी पर डे एंड स्लाटर वेट इज फाइव सिक्सटी नाइन के जी एंड एट फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट डेज सो किल इम्पोर्टेंट ब्रीड ऑफ अ जर्मन ओरिजन एंड येलो इन कलर येलोइ और गोल्डिश और रेड कलर इज अवेलेबल इन Evolved in the 19th century, produce uh, a high growth rate, dual purpose animal that also serve as for draft purposes. Uh, American have made their own association of uh, kill beef, and they have further developed this animals. This animal has further gained a popularity in America because it can it uh, growth rate is further further enhanced and uh, maturity weight is also. in has in in will um, beef animals so gil beef animal is a uh, ranging ranging from of 1400 uh, average weight is 1400 pounds to 1800 pounds um, good size heavy muscular and are known as they are desirable carcass and strong maternal characteristics charles is another very good breed of france Uh, France uh, you and use for meat production as well as for draft and milk production but uh, since uh, specialized beef production uh, charles is, is segregated for beef production as well as for milk production um cream color mein milta hai white color mein aapko milega heavy size ka animal hai large um, animal hai Uh, both uh, gene- genetically pooled and horned animal are first to be linked to hardy cattle with rapid growth rate and good muscular quality and lean carcass. One point five three kg weight gain per day. Our potential is ka uh, slaughter weight have four hundred thirty four kg at a four hundred sixty days. A uh, blonde angel, bland uh, aquitaine um, is another French breed. Cream to fawn color, a um, protein uh, color may be there. Few animals have these uh, white legs and uh, spatches on the on the hind legs and white legs. Uh, primarily, this animal is uh, characterized for high yielding carcasses. Uh, high for weight uh, of yearling, high for weight is around one thousand pound, and mature adult animal weight ranges from fourteen hundred to eighteen hundred pounds. Mm. Then some of the uh, some of the animals were developed were developed uh, by the uh, scientists uh, uh, in early nineteenth or twentieth centuries. Uh, mm. One of the animal is called as Belmont Red. So the Australian government uh, facilitated this uh, this project. Uh, the Queensland Australia uh, they are the is a C S I R O uh, Queensland Australia developed. For this, uh, this breed for Africa, it contains genetically fifty percent African R and twenty five percent Hairy Four and twenty five percent short hand, uh, short hand uh, genetics, uh, genetic blood, and for the development of Belmont Red. Uh, as I said, that the, some of the uh, tropical countries uh, breeds are. Uh, resistance to parasitic load diseases and uh, heat tolerance, and whereas the uh, exotic breeds uh, like uh, European breeds uh, like the Hereford and uh, the other breeds, uh, Shorthand, they are uh, having a good growth rate 
and uh, high high carcass yield characteristics. So uh, crossing these two breeds will improve the offsprings in terms of uh, dressing percentage, carcass carcass uh, grades, as well as uh, weight grow, weight gain, and growth. Uh, uh, growth rate as well as as well as the meat characteristics so red mount is uh, found in uh, is, is developed by the australian for the african people uh, african people similarly uh, indian breed beef mass uh, indian breed is brahman American people took this uh, Brahman animal in uh, early 19th centuries uh, to America and uh, the America, American uh, Association for Beef Breeds, they worked on it and uh, they developed a uh, beef master from uh, in 1930 by, uh, by, by, uh, by crossing the Brahmans, uh, Brahmans with a 50% genetic blood of Brahmins with 25% age of heavy food and short horn, and they developed this breed for uh, in 1930 in the US. Similarly, the African uh, Belmont Red was developed in, uh, in Australia, having uh, instead of Brahman, they use African R 50%. So, African R, and uh, here it is substituted with 50%. Uh, Brahman breeds, Brahman uh, Indian breed, which is similar to our uh, Tharparkar breed, having uh, white in color, grayish head, grayish head and neck area, and one of the one of the very heavy size animal, dual purple animal, and very uh, good in uh, meat characteristics. So beef master uh, developed the uh, resistance, self resistance against the pest and various uh, diseases and predators. Extremely hardy animal uh, and uh, range extremely in a hard situations. Uh, two hundred to two hundred twenty six uh, hundred pound uh, is the weight of one animal recognized for weight and fertility. By the way, this animal beef master was also imported to Pakistan, and uh, Pakistan uh, scientists are now crossing this beef master with the 50% beef master and 50% is the Bagnari breed to develop our own uh, Nari master in, in our part of Pakistani, Pakistani situation. So Bone Smara is another uh, African R first beef breed developed from uh, crosses, African R and Harry Ford. The first uh, F1 was a back cross with the African R so the progeny have a blood level of African R58, and uh, uh, the Harry Ford has a uh, blood level of uh, three by eight. Now, let's calculate how three by eight is. How much is it? And how much is it? Okay, uh, but it is a mixture or crosses of two breeds. Okay, just me say African R ka blood group is more than that, and Harry Ford ka blood group is less than that. Okay, bone smara is light red color. Well, suitable for African climatic condition, which is very hard and mm, biomass availability is very less. Similarly, um, Brancus is a cross developed in America, and this Brancus contains 3.8, 3 by 8 genetic proportion of genetic blood uh, from the Brahman breeds and Aberdeen Angus 5 by 8. Everything in the street. So this uh, Brahman cattle is uh, black in color, bold head, and breed uh, uh, is more dominant, having desired characteristics of Brahman as well as Everything Angus. These breeds include hardiness, heat tolerance, muscularity, early maturity, and uh, production of a uh, quality beef. So there's another um, small breed developed by the uh, Ireland scientist uh, uh, called Dexter. So Dexter is a relatively small breed suitable for hilly areas and uh, uh, having uh, 800 pounds to 900 pounds uh, body weight and uh, inches and uh, 40 inches height. is key or quite good have for hilly area. Black color me hai, or red color me hai, small size hai, horn hai, uh, this animal. Ke. 
So the another animal which is called as a belted bear, Galloway, uh, is a distinctive characteristic. Its ये है कि इसकी body black है और इसकी belly पर एक belt नुमा सा circle में white uh, white पट्टा सा है. So this white contrast to black make it more appealing and uh, uh, may give a brownish tint color in summer and sets uh, a breed apart from a striking color pattern. ये दूसरी ब्रीड से जरा मुख्तलिफ है कि इसमें ये पट्टिया जो है इसका खूबसूरती में इजाफा कर देता है ओके नेचुरली पोल्ड है हिल एरियाज में पाया जाता है आपको ये जो स्कैंडिनेवियन कंट्रीज हैं वहाँ पर आपको ये अनुभव मिलेगा बेल्जियम नॉर्वे स्वीडन इनमें आपको ये अनुभव मिलेगा ये डबल कोट लॉन्ग हेयर्स हैं इसके डबल कोट लॉन्ग हेयर्स हैं बाहर वाला टेंस कोट इसको रेन से शेल्टर देता है सो दिस एनिमल कैन बी सूटेबल फॉर द पास्चर्स एंड देयर देयर इज हैवी रेन कोल्ड इसको इफेक्ट नहीं करती है क्योंकि इसके अंदर एक साफ्ट अंडर कोट अंडर कोट है विच मेक इट्स वार्म और एलिमिनेट कर देता है एक्सपेंसिव एक्सपेंसिव हाउसिंग से इसको बचाता है ओके मतलब ये कि इसके लिए एक्सपेंसिव हाउसिंग नहीं चाहिए इट कैन इट कैन बी रिटेन इन द पास्चर्स ओपन पास्चर्स इन कोल्ड एंड स्मॉल फॉल एरियाज ओके सो दिस वर द फ्यू ब्रीड्स व्हिच वर डिस्कस्ड इन दिस क्लास देयर आर मेनी अदर ब्रीड्स बिसाइड दिस क्लासेस वन इज अ Uh, I can't. I can't go far one by one. You can. You can uh, just go and uh, right there in the beef breeds, uh, exotic beef breed, and you will see that there are so many beef breeds available there. Uh, in that, in that case, okay. So uh, just to give you an idea that, uh, like we have the animals, these people have developed their own animals, keeping the keeping the characteristics of these animals. Which animal is more suitable for which purposes? Uh, keeping their own now, they have two hundred and fifty breeds of uh, beef, but not a single animal is considered as a uh, ideal for our locations. So different localities have different different breeds, and uh, different breeds are suitable for different different localities. Okay, so uh, depending upon the your uh, objectives, what are your target? What is your target? Is that I have a Karak arid area? Is there a breed for that breed? So I have उसको चूंकि करक में बायोमास अवेलेबिलिटी कम होगी तो मैं ऐसे ब्रीड को सिलेक्ट करूंगा जो कि स्ट्राइव कर सके ऑन अ वेरी लेस वेजिटेटिव वेजिटेटिव मटीरियल पर वो रह सके दोज विच आर हैवी साइज एनिमल दे डू हैव हैवी मेटाबॉलिक रेट एंड दे यूटिलाइज लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर मेंटेनिंग देयर बॉडी maintaining their body functions and uh, that's why uh, they need heavy uh, biomass availability for their any of those for to run up their body systems theek hai so hum us ilaqo ke liye ab dhani local breed hai hamari ek jo is ilaqo mein pai jati hai lohani is another small animal which is found in that those areas we just need to segregate these animals for beef production और मे बी एनहांस डेक्स्टर की डेक्स्टर से क्रॉस क्रॉस ब्रीडिंग करवा के आप इसको एनहांस कर सकते हैं कि मस्कुलटी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक उसमें एनहांस हो जाए ओके सो दिस दिस इज अबाउट शॉर्ट लेक्चर अबाउट द एक्साटिक बीफ ब्रीड्स थैंक यू वेरी मच जेंटल मैम इधर एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन पॉप अप एंड पुट इट देयर इन माई व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप Uh, I will be able to answer it. All those will be raising questions. Okay.